Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back. This is Old School Gamer here. We're back again with another video today. So you guys probably already know about the screenshot that was revealed the other day for Need for Speed 2017 because pretty much everybody and their mothers are making videos and analyzing the shit out of this one photo. So that pretty much made me decide that I'm not going to talk about this photo or analyze it at all and tell you guys what I think is going to be in the next game. I'm just going to talk about what I would like to see in the next game. So I'm not going to mention anything that was in Need for Speed 2015 because right now I am just going to assume that everything that was in Need for Speed 2015 is going to be in Need for Speed 2017. There was a few things confirmed. I'm not going to go over all of it, but you will hear me talk about the things that were confirmed for Need for Speed 2017 in this video. So you guys are just going to have to pay attention very closely if you want. If not, that's okay. Up to you. But other than that, we're going to get on with this. So let's start this off here. This is going to be my top five most wants for Need for Speed 2017. So here we go. So first off, I would like to see an individual heat level for each car you own. Exactly like how it was in Most Wanted Carbon and Undercover. I believe it was an Undercover. I only played that once, beat it, and never went back to it. So I don't really remember too much from it. Like whenever you'd be chased by cops in those games, your heat level would rise for each individual car you own. So each car you would start off with level one heat. And if you were chased by cops in that one car, it would rise for only that one car, making it more harder for you to get into races or just cruise around without cops being all over the area. More than what it would be with a low level heat car. And also whenever your heat level would rise, more harder and different looking cops would come and try to take you down. So like if you had level 1 heat, you would just have the regular police cruisers, like the regular looking police cruisers. And then as soon as you hit level 2 heat, you would get the black undercover looking cops. And then at level 3 and so on, you would get like SUVs, Corvettes, if there are even Corvettes in them. I haven't played all the old Need for Speeds in so long, but, but you can pretty much get what I'm trying to say with this. You get heavier and faster cars like an SUV, Corvette, and whatnot to try and take you down to make it even harder for you to get away. And I'm also going to mention this again. If you are driving a car that had a higher level heat level than something else, like one car is at level 4 and the other car is at level 2, you are more likely to get into a cop chase faster with the car that has level 4 heat than the one with level 2 heat. Now, there is somewhat of a heat level in the new Need for Speed 2015, but it kind of showed up as soon as you got into a pursuit. And there was only four heat levels, and as soon as you would lose to cops in that one car that you were racing with, or being in a pursuit with, all that heat for that one car would be lost. And as soon as you get the cops onto you again, all that heat would be lost and you'd start right back at level one heat. So, and honestly, the cops didn't really try to take you down. It didn't really seem like they really tried to take you down at all. And honestly, I didn't really like that. I would much rather have it like, all the old need for speeds like most wanted and carbon and undercover so now for my second thing i did kind of mention it just a few seconds ago but i would like more intelligent and smarter cops now i'm gonna bring up most wanted carbon and undercover again but if you think back to those it was a little bit more intense to be in a cop chase or a pursuit in those games than what it was in need for speed 2015 because honestly in 2015 it was just way too fucking easy to get away from cops and evade them it felt like they really gave no effort to try and catch you at all until you hit like level three or four heat and even then it's still not hard and and as soon as you hit level three and four heat you would finally get roadblocks and spike trips but in all the older games the cops would pretty much send out roadblocks spike trips rhinos and even a fucking helicopter after you like within like a minute or two of being in pursuit so and even the fucking cop cars that would be chasing you would pretty much try to work together and try to take you down and they would actually fucking keep up with you like they would have the same speed as you yeah i know it seems a little fucked up and unrealistic but honestly i kind of preferred that because it made cop chases a lot more fun but what i was saying about how the cops would work together to try to take you out like they would have one cop speed up in front of you and try to like get right in front of you to where you can't move out of the way and like get past them or anything like that and on top of that they would get two other cop cars to come on each side of you to try to block you in so you don't turn at all and then on top of that another cop car would come up right behind you and hit you right on your ass to block you in between those four cop cars that pretty much make it impossible for you to even escape at all and uh, trust me it is the hardest damn thing to do to get out of oh god i hated that and even whenever they try to like block you in between them they would even move off to the right or left to even get you onto a wall and while you're being blocked in even though you're moving you are still being arrested like that bar is still moving to like to the rights where you'll be getting arrested so and i would really like that to be in the new need for speed 2017 because like i said i wasn't too fond of the cops in need for speed 2015 when i first started playing it i saw cops in like the preview i was like oh shit cops are going to be in this and then as soon as i start playing it a few 
few hours later, maybe even the next day, I finally get cops on me. I'm like, damn, uh, you guys got me fooled. I thought there was like no cops in this at all because you barely even come across cops on Need for Speed 2015 unless if you're doing the outlaw missions, which are pretty much bounty missions. Yeah, but like I said, cops weren't too efficient in Need for Speed 2015. They weren't too smart, weren't too intelligent. I wasn't much for them. I prefer having a fucking challenge when it comes to a pursuit, even though it will piss me off at times, but I do prefer a fucking challenge when it comes to hot pursuit. But, but other than that, we're going to go off to the third feature that I would like to see in the new Need for Speed 2017, and that would be unlockable cars and also parts, like vinyls, body kits, and also performance parts. Now, before you say anything, I know that there were unlockable parts in Need for Speed 2015, but in order to unlock them, you had to level up, and I didn't really like that. And also, you do unlock them from Amy's missions, which I am completely fine with unlocking them through Amy's missions, because that's what I would much rather have. Have it to where you would unlock all the performance parts by doing races or missions, not by just leveling up, because you could pretty much just sit there at the very beginning of the game, not literally at the very, very beginning of the game, but like a little bit in there, like, before you even get close to beating the game, you can pretty much just grind out a bunch of races to get a bunch of fucking money and also level up a bunch too to where you can unlock all of the performance bars that you can without using Amy's missions. There's certain ones that you have to do Amy's missions for, but the majority of the performance parts are by leveling up. I wasn't really much for that. I do understand why EA and Ghost did take that route with Need for Speed 2015 since it's online only, so I do kind of understand that and it does make a lot more sense, so I did accepted anyway and I was like okay this is pretty cool I took my time with it by leveling up so I pretty much unlocked all of the performance parts pretty much damn near at the end of the game because all I gotta do is just the fucking 80 challenges and the outlaw missions and I just now unlocked all of the performance parts but what I'm trying to say is by you can just grind out a bunch of missions right there at damn near the beginning of the game before you even get close to completing all the missions you can pretty much grind out a bunch of fucking races and just get a bunch of experience points to where you can like have your car fast as fuck but i would just much rather have it to where you just get to a certain point in the game and you would unlock like stage one performance like a turbo or handling or whatnot like you just get to a certain point in the game and unlock performance parts just like how it was in all the old need for speed games and yes i am going to be bringing up a lot of old need for speed games and whatnot but i just prefer it like that and also with the cars as soon as you start the game all the cars are already unlocked so it's pretty much just up to you to get enough money to actually actually buy the car so literally at the very beginning if you grind out enough missions for a long enough time because I know a damn lot of you are going to like as soon as you start the game you can grind out one mission to get like a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars and just buy a Lamborghini right fucking there at the very beginning like before you even start not literally right before you even start but pretty much is what it seems like so I wasn't much for that I would ra much rather have it to where you get into a certain point in the game to unlock cars and also performance parts and also body kits vinyls colors and all of that like what I mean by body kits is like individual bumpers side skirts rear rear bumpers and also body kits themselves so i'd much rather have it to where you get to a certain point in the game to actually unlock all those items because i feel like it's more efficient and it actually gives you more of a drive to actually go through the game because need for speed 2015 i didn't really get too much of a drive to actually complete the game through i'm still playing it i'm playing the shit out of it i played this need for speed a lot more than i have any of the more recent ones need for speed 2015 like at the very beginning of the game you would start off racing and you pretty much don't have to win any of the races at the beginning like the first three four races i think i could be wrong on that it could be less could be more but on the first few races like whenever you're going to the longhorn the garage and whatnot you don't have to win the races to actually get there at first i didn't like that and also there's no pausing and you couldn't restart the races at the very beginning of the game either i wasn't much like that but now we're getting off track with number three so we're going to go off to number four and my fourth choice would be to have a bigger garage to store your cars or maybe even a main menu garage now now what i mean by the main menu garage is like how it is in undercover through carbon is how you would first start up the game and as soon as you hit start you could pretty much go all the way to the right and just customize the car from there without even starting up story mode or anything like that and pretty much everything would be free from body kits vinyls to performance parts as long as you unlock the parts in story mode so whatever you have unlocked in story mode you would have unlocked in the main menu 
garage. I'm going to call it main menu garage because I don't know what it's actually called. Like I said, haven't played the only for speeds in a while, but and as soon as you would be done customizing your car, you could pretty much go into quick race to race against computers or maybe even split screen with a, with your friend, which would be awesome if split screen was also in Need for Speed 2017. Don't worry, that's not even on this list at all. But you could go into quick race to race against computers or your friends right after you're done customizing your car and you could use that car that you customized to race against them. But if we're just going to have a campaign garage, I hope we're going to be able to store more than just five cars. Maybe make it like seven or ten cars. Shit, maybe even unlimited because I hate having to sell a car just to buy another one, not knowing if it's going to be worth the trade-off or not. So, But since we are going to have a offline mode and a online mode, depending on if they're going to be separate, one set of cars is going to be in campaign mode, like the cars you buy in campaign mode aren't going to be in the online mode, maybe make the online mode like the garage on there. Maybe make it to where you have an unlimited storage, you know, because I can understand not having unlimited storage on the story mode because, you know, that might be a little overkill. But if you have unlimited garage on the online mode, that might be a little bit more better because they do say the online mode is going to be the main focus for Need for Speed 2017. And I got like three messages right there. Sorry if you heard that go off. But they said did say the online mode is going to be the main focus for Need for Speed 2017. So maybe they might make it to where you can have more cars on the online mode than offline mode because I hope I just hope we are going to be able to store a good amount of cars so maybe that will happen maybe it won't but I hope we will have a bigger car storage a more better garage or maybe even a main menu garage in Need for Speed 2017 that's what I hope for our, for my fourth thing and now for the last thing that I want the last feature that I want in Need for Speed 2017 is going to be more customization or better customization now do not get me wrong at all the custom Customization in Need for Speed 2015 is fucking phenomenal, great, over the top, the best we fucking seen in years and a long time in Need for Speed game since like Pro Street or Shift or Undercover, one of those, I'm not too sure. But for some of the cars that you buy on Need for Speed 2015, like you'll buy a car expecting to customize the fuck out of it, being able to customize it like the Hot Rod or some of the Lamborghinis or exotic cars or just some of the regular cars or whatnot. You'll buy them expecting to put like, you know, I'm gonna put like a badass spoiler bumpers rims whatever you want on there you're expecting to do all that but when you go to the customization tab the only thing you can put on there is like a spoiler change the rims maybe the headlights or so and maybe just put like a full-blown body kit on there so it it's kind of like man what the fuck the only thing I can do with this thing is pretty much make it fast and put some body kit that I may or may not like because honestly some of the body kits on Need for Speed 2015 they're cool but I much rather like to customize the car on my own make it also individual like customize the bumper on my own customize the side skirt i don't like to go for straight body kits where it's all customized for me yeah sure some of them might look badass but i like to be able to customize it by myself maybe get a little bit more options whenever you're going to change each thing individual like your bumpers maybe get like five to ten now i was watching a youtube video the other day about black panther this is a very old video that he does he was doing a video about what he wants in customization in need for speed 2017 and he did bring up like maybe make like five or a little bit more options than that for each bumper side skirt on each car maybe make need for speed to where they make their own bumpers and whatnot because in need for speed 2015 they do have their own license body kits bumper rims tires everything like that they have it all on need for speed 2017 2015 i mean maybe do something like that in the new need for speed 2017 make it to where they have their own special body kits and whatnot for like exotic cars that actually don't have body kits in real life or creators of the car of lamborghini they don't want need for speed or ea to put body kits on the car maybe just be like okay well you don't want us body kits on it but we're just going to make our own body kits or trying to find some type of loophole to do it but i don't know i just want better customization and need for speed 2017 like i said do not get me wrong customization and need for speed 2015 is fucking phenomenal awesome i fucking love it you can customize so many cars but when it comes to like exotic cars and the hot rod the fucking hot rod the very last one you can't customize it at all the only thing you can do is change the rep the wheels and the rims i believe that's all you can do if not you can probably change the fucking exhaust that's about all can't do anything no body kit no bumper no hood no nothing can't do a damn thing oh you can't even do performance parts on that thing too but i can understand that because that thing is fucking fast now let's think back to the old need for speed carbon because i believe carbon is where this one is actually came in it was called auto scoping i believe that's what it was called but you can pretty much customize any part on your car like if you buy a side skirt you can pretty much choose if you want that side skirt to be lower if you want it to pop out a little bit like the little splitters you can 
can get on that on the very bottom, like the little carbon fiber you can get down there on the bottom. I'm not too much into cars. I don't know too much about them, but I do play the shit out of Need for Speed. Ooh, shoot me down. I'm talking about Need for Speed, and I don't know anything about cars. But hey, it's a game. But on Need for Speed Carbon, you can pretty much customize every little thing about any type of part you put on your car. You get a spoiler. You can make that thing tall as fuck, wide as fuck, huge. It may give it some type of weird-ass crazy fucking curve to it on the top. I don't know. You can pretty much autoscope anything you want. Now, some people might be like, uh, I don't really like that. I don't really like that feature in Need for Speed Carbon. You know, they can pretty much just make um, bumpers that are pretty low. But honestly, I kind of like that because maybe if you find a bumper that you really like, you don't really like the, all the other ones, but you do kind of want to edit it a little bit maybe make the bumper a little bit more like all the open parts that you see on it i don't i don't know what you call them like i said i'm not i don't know anything about cars but like all the open parts on the on the bumpers you can pretty much make a bigger smaller close them fucking make the whole damn bumper open do anything like that autoscope this i i i wish they would put that into the new need for speed 2017 but honestly i don't think they're going to put autoscope in it but if they don't at least make it to where we have a good amount of choices for customization like we want bumpers give us a good amount of them and for like a lamborghini if we can't really customize it like in need for speed 2015 we can't customize some of the cars i haven't bought any exotic cars on there yet but you know, some of them you can't really customize them too much you can do very little bit there's like one or two bumpers and they're honestly really shit so yeah, let's give us a little bit more options and need for speed 2017 because that would just be great at least make it to where they we can adjust all the um body parts and whatnot and the vinyls the vinyls i am perfectly fine with the customization of the vinyls because on need for speed 2015 you can actually download wraps like other people's creations of what they make on cars you can pretty much download any fast and the furious cars because those are honestly the most popular if you buy like a skyline you'll pretty much get brian skyline from too fast too furious you buy an rx7 you'll find um um han's rx7 from tokyo drift or dom's rx7 from fast and the furious one so you can find a whole bunch of different wraps i have a nissan gtr right now with a wrap of goku on it maybe i might use that for gameplay i'll have to record it right after i do this i am lacking on videos because i was trying to make this video but i might play that for some gameplay so you can check that out awesome rap people make great creations and hopefully in the for speed 2017 we will be able to download load other people's wraps that they upload because that was a really cool feature in 2015 need for speed 2015 because i do remember in midnight club la totally different game not really it's a different developer racing game but in that one you can pretty much download other people's cars that they created and you can find a lot of modded cars but you'd actually have to buy them and there would be a lot of fast and furious designs and also cars that would just glow the fuck up and that would hit zero to 100 in like one second because it's modded but that was really cool hopefully we will get something like that and if your speed 2017 will be able to download other people's wraps that would be awesome more customization the vinyls they are perfectly fine maybe give us a little bit more to choose from or maybe actually give us like a full-blown vinyl kit like that we find like in undercover or undercover like in the underground series you, you can actually go to the vinyls go to unique and there's already like full-blown vinyls now, i know that it's like that in need for speed 2015 but it's only like one two or three of them for each car so maybe we can get a little bit more of those i, I don't know what the call them, but they're the wraps if you hit r2 like once or twice you'll find like actual developer wraps that they actually made like if you go to bmw m3 you can already find the m3 from 2005 most wanted i believe that's when it was made but you can find the design for the m3 on there but yeah but something like that that would be really cool if we can have that in the new need for speed 2017 there is going to be a lot of customization in the new need for speed 2017 because customization is confirmed there is a lot of it and in the picture you'll see this 350z which yes we're getting a 350z but which a lot of people are excited about which which might means we might get a lot more cars but if you look at the 350z it's customized so we already know that there's going to be a lot of fucking customization in this game so hopefully it's going to be better than need for speed 2015 and now i pretty much already told you guys my five features that i'm wanting in need for speed 2017 so hopefully you guys liked it maybe you guys agree maybe you disagree it's going to be a little bit of mix of both if you guys even watch this video if this video gets out hopefully it's not too long i've been recording for at least 30 minutes now a lot of fuck ups here and there but you know but other than that that was my top five things i want to see need for speed 2017 don't forget to put down there in the comment section below what you guys agree what you, what are your guys's top five tell me why tell me your top five anything like that put it on our comment section below and as always if you guys enjoy don't forget to like maybe subscribe if you feel like i'm worthy enough and as always don't forget to put your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below let me know what you guys think about this was this a good video is it a little different from all my other videos because i usually just do gaming news is what i call it but eh, this is going to be a little different type of video i like to do these videos every once in a while but if you guys enjoyed put 
Put your thoughts in comments down there. Let me know what you guys think. Put your top five down there. Why is that your top five? Anything. Put it down there below. And as always, have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching. As always, keep it old school. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later. And as always, thank you for watching.